space-based solar power. Space-based power. Safe, clean energy. Space-based solar power. Long-term strategic energy. Space-based solar power. Space-based solar power. I currently serve as the Chief of Advanced Concepts at the National Security Space Office. I was asked to pick up the study on space-based solar power. Space-based solar energy is an idea invented in the 1960s. Dating back to when O'Neill and Glacier were promoting this idea. One solar power satellite could supply as much energy as 10 nuclear power plants. It isn't restricted just to those countries which have oil or coal or natural gas. It's a life-changing, a game-changing type of capability. A potential for changing the energy game hugely. We're talking about putting solar arrays into space that are square kilometers in size. Collect the sun's raw, intense energy, which is much stronger in space than it is down here on Earth. These two large mirrors have to always point at the sun, but the transmitter has to always point at the Earth. Collect that energy in space and actually beam it down to the ground. Beam that power down to the stations on Earth. And feed that as electricity into the electrical power grids that already exist. The challenges that we face right now with regard to energy and the environment are so compelling. Looking at the energy problem. Where's that energy going to come from? Looking at climate change. We're facing an environmental contamination problem because of our consumption of carbon producing fuels. And fuels that are running out. Increasing populations, dwindling resources. The population is increasing. The energy sources are decreasing. Looking at national security, some of the potential causes of conflict. American competitiveness, American leadership in aerospace and energy. If we take the 100,000 foot view of this whole thing, it's very large. It is so huge. It is an enormous engineering undertaking. Just to give you a sense of scale, each of these little disks is about the size of a football field. We want to actually get space solar power happening right now. There's going to be a need for certain demonstration. Proofs of concept. I'm a senior engineer here at the lab in the Naval Center for Space Technology. People come to the lab with concepts that need to be demonstrated. Behind me is our thermal vacuum test chamber. We use this to simulate the vacuum of space. We're here in our radio frequency test facility. The blue pyramids on the walls help to absorb the radio frequency energy so that when we do a test, we don't have a lot of reflections. One of our objectives is to develop uh, appropriate robotic assembly techniques. What an autonomous robot does is it actually thinks for itself. Let's show that we can beam power from one location on the Earth to another. And this has already been done. This has been done 30 and 40 years ago. A lot of us and a lot of younger people are wondering, you know, what can I do to solve this problem? It's going to be the new generation of students coming through the system now that are going to be the, the engineers, the designers, the builders of these systems. I study aerospace engineering at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Certainly it all starts with those, uh, those science and, and engineering and math courses. It could be 10 years into your career and something you learned in college is applicable and helps you understand someone else's job. Diameter of the receiver, and that's the wavelength of the beam. The area, of course, is pi r squared. Ever since high school, I was developing an interest in doing engineering. Space will become familiar for us. The economy is a scale kick in, and it becomes cheaper. Fleets of reusable spacecraft. Innovative solutions. This is just too important to the United States, its allies, and the world. This is something that's going to require a national commitment. I can't think of a more ambitious project that a young person could make a larger mark on than getting us towards solving a problem like this with our long-term energy crisis.